What's up everyone, this is Sherrod talking, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about this story update. We have now episode 3 for Leon's Ark, and we're gonna have two videos showcasing different strategies for those that want to farm here. First of all, all stages have 2000 HP as cap. Doesn't matter the stage you farm, you should choose based on the drops you can get. Like in the first stage, you find a hammer in axes materials in the second one you find axes and spears so choose the elements that you lack and farm the stage based on that or just farm based on the one that you can farm faster we're going to start with stage 3.1.1 also don't forget to check the exchange shop there are plenty of good things to get here well this stage has enemy with pretty low HP, the lowest of the now, so you just need Magia Fight Formation with Alosis on the front and he's gonna finish it all. Uh, weapon needs to be at least 80%. So there we go, he is on the front line. As if he kills some enemies, he gets BP back and that's why he can use Grunt Trample three times and farm it by himself. It's a solo farming setup. Sometimes you may get combos, but don't worry, he does not need and like I said, the weapon that I am using here has actually 84% increase in damage, but 80 should be enough. This enemy seems to have exactly 60,000 HP. And the last wave is just a repetition of the enemy, so... Pretty much done. Keeping the Magia Fight Formation, although the other method that works super fine is... Uh, Queen Hewitt in the front line, she's gonna use a fast attack, and Matriarch in the back line, and she's gonna use Swing Penetrate. Well, uh, since Queen Hewitt is on the front line, she's going to use her fast attack, doing double the damage we need, of course. And in the second wave, you can even use Subir, for example, he will do enough damage in the back line where Matriarch is. But since Queen Hewitt is charging, she would not interfere. Then we got to kill the enemies, now last wave is just screen healed, one shot in all. The good thing is that it's three actions pretty fast, just like Alosis, but uses two units instead of one. Now, moving to stage 3.1.2 is when the enemies are weak to hold and lightning. So, uh, there are some characters that can use double elemental attacks, and in this case I'm gonna bring the latest version of Katarina in the Perfector style of Cordelia, because they have some attacks like uh, Frost Rush, there is also Sprinkle, you can also find Sprinkle in the last human version of Furnius, and you can also use the last version of Silver, they work pretty much the same. The formation is Amazon Red X, and you need at least 70% damage with these weapons. Okay, so this Katarina is doing pretty good damage, around uh, 55k Cordelia does pretty much the same. The Zenits have similar damage output. The enemies don't have that much HP, so I think even a 60% weapon will work. But it's two characters acting, so six actions. But still, I think many people have these characters, they are pretty popular. And like I said, even Silver works well. Well, speaking of Silver, there is one type of rotation that I want to showcase. If you have her Summer Style as well, you can inherit Storm War. This is a fast attack for Lightning in Cold. Uh, you have to choose a weapon that does not have Slash so that she gets full access to the power. And in the front line of a Magia Fight Formation, you can use someone like Black or other Cold Damage Dealer. He works pretty fine because he even buffs STR. Well, this cycle with this silver will get even stronger in the future when she gets to amplify Storm Roar. It will reach S power. That's also the reason why I kept summoning for her banner till I actually got her. See that Pirate Salvo is doing? Same damage overall. The weapons here are pretty powerful, but you don't need that much, but at least 80% should be enough. And three actions, pretty fast. And the next stage, 3.1.3, has enemies weak again to 
cold and blunt. So, uh, the best way to handle the situation is with Waterfall Blade Plus since they are alighted in a column. And if you have Soji with Waterfall Blade Plus, it's going to solo this. I don't have, so the best I can do is bring two other characters that can do Waterfall Blade. In this case, it's Platinum Grey. And the other one is the Summer Fight and Press that gets access to 12 VP and can use Waterfall Blade Plus three times in a row. There's also Hector that can use Waterfall Blade Plus and he's actually pretty strong. And another one is Katarina. Well, here the weapons don't need to be that strong. I think 60% should be pretty much enough. Those enemies are pretty fast. Attacking before Summer and Press. But yeah, bugs are fast in this game. But if you have Soji, this is gonna be a joke. He's very fast and can solo farm this. But I have to use two actions, so in the end we have six actions, two characters, three trainees. Now the second strategy uses Deadly Priest X formation and Leon, everyone has, and Mifet because he is actually uh, off banner style. In this case I'm using the Remembrance Gun on him and using the dedicated weapon for Leon. Well, this is overkill and you don't need that. Well, it doesn't matter who attacks first or second, they are not enough to kill any wave, so they have to use the Combined Power. <laughs> and talking about Combined Power, look even a combo. Mifa does a little more damage than Mia, especially with the Remembrance Gun. Yeah, around 15% more. That's why I tried to bring Mifa in some strategies, because everyone will eventually get this character, and he's a good partner to Mia. He's not as slow as Sochu as well. Now, stage 3.1.4 has enemies weak to shadow only, that's right, so we don't have that many options. A character that works super fine is Eagle Mall, but she has some RNG when farming, that's why I brought more reliable characters. Magia Fight Formation with the second Shira inheriting Pin Up the Night Wind, and in the front line I have the UD Expert Run inheriting Frost Quake. This is a very good cycle. Well, uh, the good thing is that Shira is a fast attacker. She's gonna help Bertrand kill enemies, allowing him to recover BP. Well, in this case, Shiro even killing the enemies. So I hope you left Dry Slot on 16, so that he does not use Dry Slot now. If she gets a combo, she can kill. Yes. At least the first wave. Why are we getting so many combos here? I don't know. <laughs> and the last wave and this dragon has more HP than the owners. So I suppose around 90,000. But still, 70% weapons will be enough. Now, the second strategy is for Shadow Bros. Yeah, we have Saturn in the front line of a Hurricane Formation. He's going to use Destructive Blow. Uh, then we have Death in the mid, and I'm gonna use Funeral Parade on 17, so only on the last wave, and you can bring three trainees. Well, so Saturn is using an 84% weapon. You don't need that much. Higher than 70% will be enough. And then uh, my... Death has 90% increase. It's not needed, 80% should be enough. The higher you have, the better it will be. So you have a guarantee that the enemy will die. Remember that the dragon has around 90,000 HP. I'm doing 100 Kai. Well, the last stage for this video will be 3.1.5. This one, the enemies are aligned in a row and they are weak to slash, and that's it. There are some ways to do damage here, there are some roll attacks, uh, like Jamu. Well, let's get a look on this formation. Hurricane, and I have Arthur in the front line because he's just that good. I'm using a no maxed Remembrance weapon, uh, any forge it with 70% should be enough. Or uh, there's also Jamu here in the back, 
I will be using Floral Cracker to help out Arthur damage on turn 2 and turn 3. 3 trainees in the middle. So this enemy seems to have plenty of HP. I'm not sure how much, but I guess 80, 85,000. And my Arthur cannot solo. I know that some people with maxed Remembrance weapons may be able to. Since he can't, I brought Jamie on the back. His Floral Cracker uh, is stronger than any of Arthur's hits. So 55 plus 44. He got close to 90,000, right? So I believe it's 85k. So... If you have a maxed remembrance weapon or a very good forged one, Arthur can solve. If you don't, bring JMU in the back, he helps with damage. Now, the last strategy has Amazon Redax Formation. You can even bring free characters. Yes, I'm using Marvelous Slash from Platinum Grey and Welfare Katarina with the same attack. Just to prove that you don't always need premium styles for farming, and I'm showing you my weapons here should be around 80% or 90s. So uh, I place a gray in the front lane because he has lower agility than Katarina. We are doing a little over 85k. So, still safe, but <laughs> pretty close. You need 80% weapons with both at least. Well, but that was the last strategy for this video. I will be doing a second part, but that will be later. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you with your farming. If you are not subscribed, please consider and join our Discord server where we talk about the universe and other RPGs in general. Hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye.